Back number six, which is the same as McKenna, more than any other player on the ground, Ian Stewart, up towards the centre wing. Green is behind Potter on this occasion, and Potter playing well, hand passes it across towards Barry Price, who comes down towards full forward. Waters is there over the head of the pack. Green in a long hand pass to the young Pitt, uh, and Pat Collingwood's 10th goal. Now, despite the fact that Collingwood are three or four goals behind, this is an interesting game, an entertaining game. There's something spectacular going on all the time, and that was a, an incident. And a long hand pass comes out here towards uh, Stephen Roberts, back to the centre of the ground, an easy mark to Thompson, a long hand pass, finds Wayne Richardson, Wayne Richardson down towards the half-forward line, there's a chance for Greening. Greening has a long shot for goal. Is it swinging back in time? It's a goal to Collingwood. Hit by John Greening. It's Jenkins, but he knocked it straight to his opposite Ruckman in Minot, left standing on the other side of the circle. In to meet the ball now is Greening. Caps the ball out there cleverly to Tully. He gives a hand pass to the wing player in Price. Price day. Six marks, 17 kicks from Stewart. Wide towards that half forward. And Green is high in the air. Chipping in to take the ball away is Lee Adamson. Adamson up towards the centre half forward. Two Collingwood players. Dumb from the back. Stewart in front. Play on says the umpire. Picked up there for Collingwood by Greening. Gave it across to Wayne Richardson. He's had a bounce. Up she goes towards the centre half forward. Ian Graham for Collingwood. Mark. That was good play. Richardson meant that, he broke away, went around a player, which was a bit chancy, got a bounce, but then steady, he found Graham on his own and he kicked it to him. Two weeks ago, 11 goals to his credit, won him a place in Collingwood side last week against Carlton, you know what happened there, Graham was a bit off sorts, but he's running back into form now, and here he is, straight out in front here, about 45 yards away, and Ian Graham gets his second goal. Yes, it's good to see players like this come back into the game, the game needs personality. This boy has got exceptional talent. He's well above average. Umpire Jeff Crouch, the league's leading umpire. A perfect bounce in the centre, and the ruckman fly and plucking it out of the air with Jenkins. Give it to Whedon. Whedon grabs. Keeps on going, however. A game little customer dropped it, took his eyes off it for a fraction. A fundamental rule is broken. The ball is tapped over there cleverly by him finally towards Greening. Greening a star against Carlton onto the half forward line, and he finds a man. Good play. This is Jeff Pitts. Pitts is on the centre of centre of the ground towards the centre wing kicking the ball over here onto the half forward line it's to Wayne Richardson Richardson has tackled for the ball has his head pulled off it's his free kick oh. and one of the what's wrong killer <laughs> I was going to say don't do that it, there's no future in it <laughs> the first Flemish in Evans record since he's been on the ground yes we can't blame him for one of those he's been a great player Wayne Richardson having his 15th kick for the game will kick it well up into the goal square the big fellas for Colin picked up by Trot Shot on the move, a scouting player, one of the best for the Saints. Kicks to the centre wing, Jenkins should mark and does. Hand pass, good play by Collingwood. They get the ball to Greening. Greening a star last week against 